Hey guys, so we are back today with another grocery haul. And I'm not even done shopping. Okay guys, so I have made it to this, it's called Kimotes. Kimotes Island Market, customer parking. Mm, additional parking in the shop lots. <laughs> I'm reading the whole thing. But I just made it here. At a, it's supposed to be a Korean Mart, so I can go and find some... Korean stuff so I can make my own homemade kimchi. Okay guys, so I had just left the Asian Mart. I did not record when I was in there because like I said, it was more of one of those experiences that you don't want to be like automatically recording and somewhere new that I never been. But when I tell you that the customer service was amazing, it was one lady, it was her shop, I guess her with her husband. And it was very nice because as soon as I walked in, she said, hello, can I help you? She had a smile on her face, no attitude. She spoke complete good English, which I know it sounds whatever, but it's definitely a plus because, you know, going some places when they don't really speak your language or they speak a little bit, but you can't understand each other, makes it very hard to like, you get what I'm saying? Like do certain things, but she spoke very good English and she was very, very nice. She had a lot of the things that I was actually looking for. Some things she didn't have, but I still was like excited about certain other things that I saw that she had and she said she accepts all kinds of other payments too so I was just like that's perfect because everybody don't want to use cash to pay for stuff all the time me and I was like oh that's perfect so I got a lot of stuff I'm gonna just show you guys in a haul once I'm done shopping for everything today to show you what I got specifically from that place and I told her I said girl I'm gonna be back because my daughter and my niece they all love Asian foods like me and stuff. And she was very talkative and cool and everything. Like she was really, really down to earth. Um, and then she was also telling me that she has like her and her husband actually on Fridays and Saturdays, they actually cook the meat and season and they have like a whole little restaurant in the back part. And I told her that I'm gonna give them a try out actually one day. I don't know if it's gonna be this Friday, but I'll go there. I'm definitely gonna go there and hopefully she remember me. I'm like, hey, you remember me? came here is on a Friday Saturday to get some of her food like how she seasons it and cooks it and be able to eat you know and then Okay, so what I mean by I'm not done shopping is because I still need to go to Walmart. So the first place I've been to today was the Korean store. And I'm going to start off with the Korean things that I got, which is in this area. And then the second place I went to for literally all of this, the rest of this, is all of these. And then I have to go to Walmart right now. But outside is very beautiful and there is quite a bit of people out. So I haven't been able to record because, as you can see, I got a lot of stuff and... You know, I don't be want to have my camera out trying to push a big old heavy cart. And then when I went to Korean, the Korean place this time, and it's my very first time being there. So I didn't get the opportunity to record because I didn't want to be that type of person that comes into, some, into someone's establishment and just be recording. So I'm going to just wait to the next time I go there and then I'll be able to record so you guys can be able to see it too. And everybody knows what all these look like. And I'm going to just go to Walmart. If I record a little bit, I probably do a little bit. If not, I hope you guys are satisfied with this video. I just love doing hauls because I have actually saw other people's hauls. And when I see certain things, I go out there and I go try to buy it too because I never heard of it and never seen it. Like I've already mentioned in one of my videos that when I saw somebody having the garlic that looks like that, that's the that's literally the whole reason why I literally would go to Aldi sometimes because I get that, especially if I'm trying to make certain dishes with the garlic because I don't want to peel garlic no more. Every time I peel garlic, I was like, oh my goodness, who does this? And then I saw that on a video. So I was like, oh, that's perfect. And mind you, I've been to all these plenty of timings and I never saw it until it takes for you to see somebody else buy it and they tell you where it's from and then you go and get it. So let's get started. I mean, I talk too much. <laughs> 
The things I'm getting from Walmart, I'll probably just show you guys as I shop or show you my cart once I'm done. So you guys will see that at the very end of this, it won't be the actual haul on the table because my plan is to go to the store and come back home, drop my stuff off, and then I want to enjoy the night. I'll probably just take me another ride, just chill in my car, something. I don't know what to do, but I don't want to stay in the house. So let's get started with the Korean place that I went to. Okay, guys, so what inspired me to get some Korean stuff? And I mean, this is like literally Korean things for sure. Um, was because I'm planning on making some kimchi, some LA barbecue short ribs, and some fried rice. So I want to make all those good, delicious stuff because I love that food. And I want to start making it myself instead of going paying a hundred some dollars or more for the restaurant that I like. And yeah, so let me go first. These are bean sprouts. These are bean sprouts. I love these. If anybody's seen this, these usually come in like when you have Chinese food. Sometimes they put it in the rice and other ingredients that they have it. And it's so good. They put it in like soups and all that. This is a radish. Was this a radish? Yeah, this is a radish. This is a Korean radish. This is the, um, oh my gosh, look at my brain. Hold on. This is a Napa cabbage. I don't know why <laughs> I couldn't think about that. This is a Napa cabbage. You can also find this actually at uh, Walmart. I know I see Napa cabbage there, but I just got one from the actual Korean place too. It's a pretty big one. And then what else? This is the pear. This is a Korean pear. She has said that she already ate one out of it because most people don't tend to buy it because she's in an area where it's not like a ton of Asians. It's like mostly like, you know, whites and stuff. So I don't know if they know about a lot of that or cook with it. So she just gave me this one instead. And then this is the red pepper flakes powder. So they put this with the kimchi to give it that red, that spiciness. As well as this is the glutinous rice flour. These are the, uh, was it the shrimp? This is like a paste. It's spicy, she said. It's like, what do you call it? I need it like basically minced, fermented shrimp. So she said that this is like fermented. I can use this, whatever. If I ever find like the one that I really, really need, I would obviously get that. But I'm going to just give this a try. As well as I have the fish sauce. She said a lot of people like this fish sauce. And... The premium dark soy sauce is very hard to find this because every time I look, even on Amazon, they want a lot of money just for it. Now, yes, this bottle was $5, but she did make sense. She was like, um, I got these are big sizes. I don't even need that much. But she was like, if I like my recipe, I can just end up making it again. And at least I have all my ingredients already and I don't have to go to the store to buy none of this stuff again for at least, you know, until I use it up. As well as I have some oyster sauce, some premium oyster sauce. I'm like, okay, cool. Then I was telling her about these noodles that I love at the Korean place. And she was like, how about you give this a try? Because she was like, it's probably going to have that same flavor that you're looking for. So I was like, okay, let me try it. Those are the noodles. It's called Mama. I don't know if that's how they pronounce it in Korean. Then I looked at the other noodles that they have. And I was like, let me just try some other ones since I love ramen. So I have this, there's a duck flavor. I have this other mama. I don't know what kind of flavor is this. I don't know, we're just gonna taste it, all of it and see. Got this. What flavor? This is chow mein noodles with this one. So I'm like, this is interesting. Let me try it, you know? That way if I ever travel to Korea or somewhere, in Asia, and I see different noodles besides the simple ramen noodles I always get for me and my kids, I can literally try other noodles that's actually like imported from over there. And now I have more options than what I'm used to, basically. And then the last thing that I got was this boba tea. Because my daughter loves boba tea. She gets it, you know, from a restaurant, you know, fresh. But these are like the candid ones that people get to. And the lady says she really likes this one. And they actually had the tapioca pearls there. She said, I can just mix any tea and put the, you know, the bubble inside of it. But I was like, let me just do this one first because, you know, my daughter likes it. So let's see if she likes these. And this is the brown sugar. So, yeah, hopefully she likes this stuff. 
when every time I go shopping, I always think about my kids because I'll be wondering to, I want to see like, what can I get that they like as well as me? Cause like my daughter, she loves Raymond. So do my kids. So we can all try that out together. They all like the Korean barbecue, actually the place we go to. So when I make the kimchi and some rice, they, I know that they would eat the rice for sure. Me and Jada's would eat the kimchi and then the beef ribs. I would have to get my other two kids to try it out. And if they like it, then they'll be eating the same thing as me. So I got this. Y'all already know I love this breakfast already pre-ready made thing because, I don't know, it's just good. Pop it in the oven. I mean, the microwave and that's it. Some French toast sticks, some waffles for the kitties, honey buns, Rice Krispie treats, these chewy variety pack. Got all these different ones inside of it. Got two of those. This is all for the kitties. Of course, you know, I'm going to snack on it too. But mainly for my kids, breakfast, that's for me. Little snacks that they like to actually eat. They love this pudding, a little chocolate pudding. I put them onto that. They used to hate it at first, then they finally tried it as they got older and they liked it. Also, these little chewy dipped. My son, he loves these. Well, they all love them, but he likes them a lot. Then I got some but I mean some margarine, some butter, unsalted butter, some Jeffy mix, because I just made a big pot of chili and we ate all that cornbread. That cornbread was so good. And I still got more chili left, so I want to make sure, you know, I eat it. <laughs> and then got some applesauce, some chicken and beef broth. I like to put that for my, you know, my vegetables and stuff. Some sour cream. I don't hardly ever buy this, but this is good if I'm making a baked potato, which me and Jada's love. So I may make a baked potato, put all the stuff in it, and add some bacon bits, or even in a salad. Put this on top too, give it a little flavor. My kids love the string cheese. I don't. I got gas. I shouldn't be even eating butter, all that stuff, but I still eat it. But they love this little string cheese. My son loves the little Danimals. My baby girl, some Capri Suns. This is the fruit punch flavor. As well as got them all some apple juice. We got some, oh, this is the reduced soy sauce I got from all these. It's going to be for my thing over there. I got to actually go through my list and scratch off what I have and what I don't. Got some more ranch, ketchup, some lemon juice, some organic apple juice, some grape juice, and... My kids saw this the last time. I think Genevieve saw it. And she was like, oh, mommy, I want something like that. And I was like, no, 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 you don't need it. But then I went to all these and I was like, ah, let me just get it. You know, because God has blessed me with the ways to get food for my kids. So why not? I mean, it's for my kids so they can be able to eat. No, they shouldn't eat on too much snacks and junk. But I do have my kids eat on a lot of fruits and vegetables. And they drink a lot of water still. So why not? You know? And then got some white rice. That's for the, uh, what's it called rice I'm going to make? The fried rice. Got some cheese pizza and some meat lovers pizza. Gotta love the egg sausage. This is the pork and the beef. Got the hot dogs. Because the other day I actually barbecued. That's why I say, if you guys go follow me on my TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, or even just here on YouTube, I'm starting to go live constantly so I can start building myself up in my algorithm and even if I delete the videos at least it's still like building myself up and getting there I think so we'll see and that way you guys can see me like in the moment of like I'll barbecue and I'm, I think about barbecue I think I'm gonna barbecue again soon because the weather is getting better and then I got a pack of chicken thighs as well from all these and it was only seven sixty eight. Then I got some mixed veggies. It's gonna be for one of my rice and then some extra like veggies for us to have on the side for dinner. When I usually just make some chicken veggies and potatoes or something or some rice. I keep my dinners very simple because I'm not a cook cook. That's why I like to do recipes to make it you know more exciting. I got the California California medley. Two of those. Two corns. The sweet corns. Like I said, two of those. I got some french fries and I want to actually make my kids try some onion rings <laughs> because I don't know if they'll like onion rings. I like onion rings, but I don't eat onion rings like that. And I want to see, hopefully, maybe they'll like it. Something different, something new, right? You got to keep going. Then this is the seasoned Asian medley because I was looking for these little, you see those little corns? 
the little baby corns. I wanted that to put inside my rice because I remember growing up, there was an Asian place I used to go to called UN's, UN's Kitchen. It was in Chicago, where around I used to live. And man, that I when I tell you to this day, my whole entire family can tell you that is the best literally Chinese food that we have ever had. And they've been closed down a long time ago because they moved back to China. And we was like, dang, why y'all got to go back? Because they was delicious. But this, I may use this instead of that. So that way I can have the corns. But I don't need no broccoli. So I may take out the little corns probably and then add it with that. I don't know. We'll see. Got some chicken nuggets for my son. He loves chicken. Everything chicken for him. Buffalo style, buffalo. Yeah, buffalo style chicken wings. Want to give those a try for the kids. And then, let's see, last but not least is the veggies. We got some broccoli, some spin spin. Got two things of the spin spin. Got some green onion, some cilantro, garden salad. Got to get, you know, a little healthy. Usually, I have a whole table more so full of veggies and stuff because we actually do eat a lot of vegetables. A lot of times I tell myself, maybe I don't, but we really actually do and a lot of fruits and vegetables. It's just, sometimes we don't. Mm. But this is not even my full shopping. This is just for now shopping because I really didn't feel like doing too much, even though this is obviously a lot, but not really, if you get what I mean. Got some pineapple, some bell peppers, some oranges. Got to get that vitamin C in. Some pears. And these are some apples that I saw. What is it? Ambrosia? Ambrosia? Apples? I ain't never seen this before at all these, but we're going to try that out and see how those taste. And we got some mushrooms because when I do do my meat, it's like barbecue style. They put a lot of, not they don't put, but I see them like also roast, what do you call it? Mushrooms. I can't talk. It's time for me to be quiet. Okay. Mushrooms on it as well. And I got garlic, two things of garlic because a lot of the recipes require garlic in it as well as some ginger. And I got two things of some strawberries. So yeah, this is my grocery haul. We're actually pretty good, and that's thanks to God. So thank you, God, for thank you, God, for this video. Thank you, God, for the timing. Thank you, God, for the patience that I had to go shopping. Thank you for the new experience of a new restaurant. Thank you for the food that I still even have in my refrigerator. I don't want to be greedy, but I want us to be able to have the food we like to eat and continue to keep eating up and enjoying. Just enjoying life. And I thank you, God, because I know if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to go shopping today and do all the things that I need to do. So I thank you for everything today. And when I say everything, everything that I don't even mention, I know some people say, why do I say everything? And I, you know, really mention it to God because God knows what everything means. And I'm forever grateful. So in Jesus name, I pray. Amen. And thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, it's probably not over. I may have a couple clips either before I show this or even afterwards of just Walmart, but you didn't see the Walmart stuff in here because I'm going to do it afterwards. But anyways, adios guys. Thank you guys for watching this uh, video. And I definitely talk much more than I usually talk, but I hope you guys like that too. Give you more in depth of why I buy, why I buy certain things besides just showing you guys, you know, what I have. So adios.